for welcome back to the diamond shop today we're tuning on this ctsv <laughs> The client actually got this at an auction and he doesn't know anything about it. No paperwork, no tunes, no information, nothing. So he actually dropped the car off. I got the laptop all hooked up, ready to do some scans. Got my tuning school papers there and we're gonna go drive this thing and see where it's at and see what it's got going on with it. The tune that's currently in it doesn't look too bad. It looks like they modified everything pretty decent, uh, but you never know until you get it on the dyno ceramic pools, looking at air fuel and looking for knock and all that stuff. So and you dropped the car off, said I wanna make sure everything is good with it. So we're gonna go ahead and start doing that now. So I did have to fight with HP Tuner's website a little bit this morning. I uh, finally got in, got some credits bought. It is $100 to unlock a car like this, to unlock the ECU and TCM. So this way we can go through everything and verify it. We are gonna go do a drive to and look at idle and drivability to look and see how far off the air fuel is and everything while driving, just check everything out. This car doesn't have a cam or anything. It does have an upper pulley and an intake. So let's go ahead and take this thing for a cruise. So we'll go ahead and start a fresh scan by hitting the space bar. Get everything going here. Go drive it around. We'll let it populate all the mass airflow. Got it right there. Let's see what it looks like. back up here to the shop, go ahead and check out the log. Usually grab it, space bar to end it, and then you can go save. Save this log file real quick. Save it something like first drive. And now I can look over everything here, but a quick glimpse at the mass air for the long term shows you know two percent two percent four percent three percent four percent one little spot at five four three two so actually it's looking really really good this this car is actually really good maybe just right through here uh we might just pull like a just a just a tiny bit out of it in the tuning school book it pretty much says you know anything less than five percent is good five and less percent is okay so i'll just pull just maybe a percent or two out of that get that hopefully in the three all the way across the board three or less and then we should be really good as far as drivability so maybe just a hair that could have been the difference from this car being at lower elevation prior to being up here in colorado now where we're at but otherwise the tune looks pretty good so far so fast forward a few more drives sometimes when you transfer the percentage over it doesn't exactly take but now we have it and we are looking pretty good not everything is within you know one to three percent looking really 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 good all right got the dyno all set up car is ready to go i've been working on the tune for a little bit just going through all the tables seeing what they had adjusted seeing what i need to adjust the car had probably i'd say 50 percent of the tables adjusted that like the torque management the main tables adjusted but none of the little ones on some of the tuning side of it that they touch some of the tables, but not some of the other tables as far as like spark and some of that, those things go. And uh, air fuel looked decent, but as far as what they were targeting and all that stuff, so that should be fairly safe if it's hitting what it's supposed to. Otherwise we should be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and upload it here in a second and make a pull. There's a couple airflow tables that were also fully maxed out and you don't have to have that. Even in the book, it says don't max them out because there's some safety things involved there. So I went ahead and set those back to stock. I used a compare file plugged all those numbers over and now we will go back in and start adjusting from the beginning on some of that stuff wide band sensor is all hooked up i use the lm2 from innovate runs in the car from the back all right it's so going to make a quick baseline pull watch their fuels as long as everything's happy run it up there quite a ways uh, if anything looks off then going to go ahead and get out of early load in my tune and then we'll keep working it up from there Are going pretty rich there. Looks like it made 436 and like 460. We'll get out and look at it, double check. But the uh, air fuel here was going like 10 0 on the air fuel, so it's definitely fat. So, not bad for a first rip 430 horsepower, 465 torque. 
Like I said, it was really fat up top, so I went ahead and got out a little early. We're gonna go ahead and load my tune into it. So we can start leaning this thing out and trying to get it, you know, that high 11 range isn't a bad place. That's actually where they're, that we're shooting for it, but that's definitely not where it's hitting at all at this point. So we definitely need to pull a bunch of fuel out of this thing and get it happy. So as you guys can see, it was super, super rich. 9.3 in spots. HP Tuners is telling you right here that it should be pulling, you know, 17, 15, 14% fuel. So just to begin with, I will, so to start off with, I'll probably just go into the mass airflow curve and pull 10% instantly. Uh, that should put us within, you know, six, 7%, and then we can fine tune from there. But we are way, way too much fuel already to begin with. Still a little rich as it tips in but then much better six eight nine percent now instead of you know 15 17 percent which because of that and it held a uh, good timing somewhere around 16 I, I also checked it out and i think the car is making right around 10 pounds of boost with the pulley chain and stuff like that so it made quite a bit of difference so now you guys can see it made 505 and 529 so a big pickup with revving it all the way out. I also had a little bit of load with the dyno because the last pull was pretty short. Uh, starting to get it where it's a little bit happier now. Definitely better on the air fuel. Still can lean it out some and probably add some timing. So I don't think we're even close to done here. So I did two back to back there just to check it. We got 535 and 526 once it was a little bit warmer. 550 torque almost and 535. So real close numbers there. Everything's looking pretty good. On that second pull, I believe why the power is down just a little bit is it actually knocked at the very end of the run. So that's a good little stress test. Two back to back pulls once everything's real nice and warm or it's been sitting here cooling, you do two back to back. Really checks everything. That little bit of knock kind of signals like if somebody's out there beating on it again and again, it's gonna start knocking on them. So I think we're real close there on the uh, timing. As far as the air to fuel goes, it's actually wanting to add now on tip in. So we'll go back and clean some of that up. And then down through the majority of the pool, we have kind of a couple little outliers here in the eight and 10%, but otherwise four, two, one, one, seven, uh, half. So really good fueling. Sometimes you'll get a real random high number. You can kind of ignore those because everything around it is so close and really, really good and all the way out the back another another random one so it's probably just skipping over that cell really fast otherwise everything all the way up looks extremely good as far as uh towards target air fuel so we'll kind of ignore some of them outliers i'm going to go ahead and change just a few things clean some stuff up blend some numbers and look at that little uh rich spot on tipping and then try to make another pool make sure there is no knock and see where we're at but otherwise we're really close right there with like that 535 range which I mean, this thing was so rich when it did. I made a pull to like 5,600, made 430, now we're at 530. So this thing was just getting so much fuel dumped out. It was choking it out. And it only, I think, pulled to like 12 degrees of timing. And now we're at, uh, let me see here, right at 17 degrees of timing on it now. So a bunch of timing, good air fuel, shows that you can pick up 100 horsepower if things aren't right. It's pretty crazy. This should be a whole new car. That one went really good, no knock, kept the timing in it. 536 and 549. So I think that's pretty much where we're at. I'm gonna work on a few little things to play with it. Maybe play with fueling just a little bit on the next pool, uh, just to verify everything, but we're really, really close. The only thing is it's a little off on the transition, so I'm going to play with that as well. And that, that's probably what it's gonna end up making is real close to right there, but we'll keep playing with it a little bit. I made two more pulls, really didn't change power-wise. I mean, Picked up very, very little, 537, 568. Picked up a little torque by leaning it out. Really didn't pick up any power, so we're gonna go ahead and leave that there. It's not knocking, everything's happy. I mean, shoot, I think that's almost 100 horsepower over what it walked in at. 
So here is the first pull, 430 and 466. And here is the last pull, 537 and 568. So almost exactly 100 horsepower. Sometimes, like I told the guy before he brought it in, I go, if the tune is close, everything is good. I might not be able to get anything out of it. And well, we picked up a whole lot, so that's really cool. This car coming from down south up to Colorado. You know, sometimes you see them go rich, it's real weird, but now it's cleaned up, it's good for up here, it's happy, and uh, we'll just go from there. Back on the injectors, they're far more happy now being leaned out quite a bit, 67% instead of 77, 78%. I also went and took the 159 kPa for manifold pressure sub and subtracted the atmospheric pressure, and that puts us right over 11 pounds, so it's like 11.2 pounds of boost is what this thing is making. That'll be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed another tuning video. We'll see you next time.